Hi guys, today I am so excited to show you PowerShell GPT. It's 2025, the future is here. PowerShell GPT is a Windows application that integrates ChatGPT with PowerShell. It allows you to speak to ChatGPT just like you would speak to Alexa or Siri. But PowerShell GPT assists you in doing almost anything that is possible on your PC. You start by submitting this prompt that tells the model how to interact with the app. You can save any prompts you use frequently and then use them just by selecting the one you want to use out of this list. The app can detect when ChatGPT wants to execute PowerShell commands. When it detects this, it will ask you whether you want to allow or deny access. You can select this checkbox down here if you want to grant permanent access. For now, we'll just click Allow. You'll see that the command gets sent to PowerShell. PowerShell executes the command, and its response is sent back to ChatGPT. And then ChatGPT responds, and so on. It's like they can have a conversation. It can go on a bit of a ramble sometimes, so it's good to have the ability to prevent the commands it generates being executed. Okay. Let me tell it to stop talking to me like I'm PowerShell. I've got that prompt saved so I don't have to keep retyping it over and over again. What I'm about to show you will blow your mind. I've got a few more examples of what this app can do, but just watch this. What's amazing about this is you don't need to know any code, you can just talk to it. Now, I've got Python installed, and that means that through PowerShell, ChatGPT can write and execute Python code. I'm going to ask it what version of Python is installed. What version of Python is running? If you check this box, it automatically submits your spoken prompt. ChatGPT will now generate the necessary PowerShell code to find out the Python version. There we go. It's generated the PowerShell code. I'm going to click Allow Access. There's the response. And there it's been sent back to ChatGPT. So ChatGPT knows what version of Python we have. Now the next bit is what this video is all about. This next prompt can now make ChatGPT do something that is absolutely amazing. The prompt says, using shell tags create a Python file named Snake, the contents of which will be Python code that creates the game Snake. There will be no mistakes in the code. Output the code only inside a code block using shell tags. Do not forget the shell tags. Now, when I submit this prompt to ChatGPT, you will see something that I had never seen before making this app. I've never seen someone speak to their PC and get it to generate and execute the code for a working game. And this is just the beginning. You can see ChatGPT is now generating the PowerShell command to create a file named Snake. This file will contain the Python code for the game. And here's the request to execute the code. If everything goes okay, watch here and the file named Snake should appear. I'm going to click Allow. Now I programmed this into the app, so if any dangerous commands are spotted, unless you explicitly tell it not to warn you, this will pop up. Here's the file named Snake that it created. Let's tell it to run it. I've got a saved prompt here, but I'm going to use the mic instead. Using shell tags, run the Python file that you just created. Let's see what happens. Uh, there's the command ChatGPT generated to run the Python code. Let's click Allow. It looks like it's running the code. Oh, the suspense. Look at that! I think that is absolutely awesome. The download link is in the description. Please don't use this for any nefarious purposes, guys. I'm going to do more videos demonstrating what it can do. So stay tuned. Any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. As always, have fun and stay safe.